Hello, my name is Stephen Smith, Quicken expert. This is the second of a two-part video series where we're covering connection to a brokerage account as well as the troubleshooting of basis. In our last video, we covered connecting to a brokerage account online, reconciling the cash, reconciling the positions. In this video, we're going to dive deeper into troubleshooting the basis of securities. Let's get started. On my screen, you'll see the positions of a brokerage account that has been reconciled. We know that the cash is good, and we know that the shares are good for the most part. Now we're looking from shares and market value onto the gain loss. Most of these are reasonable. Unfortunately, they're losses, but they're reasonable losses, except for this security, which has a gain of 1,400%. Unfortunately, not likely. We can expand to see if there's anything that jumps out at, at us as odd. We can also go into the register, and by filtering on security, we can look more closely at the history of transactions. Starting back in May of 2016, I can see that they bought 172 shares at $165 for a total basis of $28,000. Over the course, there were numerous dividends, dividend reinvestments, and and we can also see that there was an addition of 761 shares. We never want to have just a plain addition. Sometimes brokerage accounts bring this in via the automated feeds. It could have been a stock split. It could have been a purchase, a dividend, a special dividend reinvestment, or just a quirk. So we're actually going to get rid of this. Now, we're actually not 761 shares off. So I'm not sure what this is going to do to the balance. So we're going to have to continue to check this out. So as I scroll down, I see that there's an ad on October 25th of 2018. Ads are never really good because they don't properly record what happened. You never just add securities. There's either a buy or it's a dividend or a stock split. Um, and that's what really needs to happen in order for the basis to be correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the Schwab account, and I'm actually going to look at the history of the detail. And what I can look at is I can filter in Schwab, and I can basically see the entire history of this security. And I'll even go to October 25th, 2018, and I'll see that indeed that there was a stock split as well as a cash in lieu. So that means there was a split. And then with the odd amount of shares, they essentially purchased those at a fair market value. So how can we get that to uh, translate properly into Quicken? Well, the first thing we have to do is change this add of 761 shares into one of the commands, which is stock split. So we know the old shares and we know the new shares. And if we don't, that's what we have to research. So how do we research that? Well, we'll just Google it. So I just went to Google and I will download IWR, which is the ticker stock split. And what quickly comes up is splithistory.com. It even shares, tells us the name, and it split on, indeed, October 26, 2018, and it was a four-for-one split. So that means if we had one share, we now have four. So let's find out how many shares we had uh, prior to 1025. Well, this is the share balance, and Quicken records us in the register. So it looks like we had 255031 old shares. 
and new shares would be 255.031 times 4, which is 1020.124. Okay, so we'll just put in the memo 4 for 1 stock split. And we'll enter done. So now let's see how that gets us. Okay. This stock split gets us pretty close in the share count. However, if you recall, in October 26, there was also this cash in lieu for 46.50. What that means is that after the stock split, there was an odd amount of shares, and the rounding didn't work, and so they actually gave us cash. I don't see that here, so I'm going to actually change our quick and register and I'm going to go to October 25th 2018 and see if I think see anything there and indeed I do here is a miscellaneous income for 4650 this is not miscellaneous income because this is cash in lieu this is actually a sale so what we want to do is record the sale of securities and we want to make sure we have the right security here and we know that it's going to be 4650. The question is, how many shares was this? I know that from looking at a brokerage statement from that period, that it was 0.94445 shares that were sold. And I don't know what the price is, but it will calculate it for me. After I enter that in, I'll look back. Let's see if we can see the split and the sale and the dividends so so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my holdings 590 and that's close but not perfect to the 586 but look we're much closer on the basis no longer a thousand percent gain let me expand this and now we also have a whole bunch more details in here uh, that basically takes it all the way back to May 2nd I'm just going to scroll down looking for anything that looks unusual. Ah, that looks unusual on July 11th, 4.19, 4.198. And seeing as how we're trying to get to 586.0128, that 4.198 looks pretty close to something that I'm looking for. So let's scroll to July, 11th, July 8th. And this is a classic uh, downloading issue. Dividend, bought, and reinvestment dividend. We can have one or the other. Either a dividend pays a dividend and then you purchase, or one command that does both. I prefer the second, but often what happens is that this gets brought in from the bank. Does not impact the cash, just the securities in this instance. So I'm going to get rid of this dividend the bot and the dividend to just leave an individual. That's going to lower our share count by four. And so now I'm going to compare 586.0128 to what I see on the brokerage account. And indeed, it is 5.861028. I can bring a snapshot of that over in the client's account. And there it is, 5.806128. And that's our cost basis of $8,558 for a much more appropriate gain of 33%. So there you have it. Troubleshooting the basis. First, we noticed that something didn't look right. We looked for a command that was off. In this case, it was an ad from a stock split. We had to research that stock split to understand exactly what that stock split was. We had to understand that the cash in lieu on a, was the sale, the constructive sale of an odd or leftover amount of the shares after the split. And then we had to again look to see if we had any incorrect dividends or reinvestments to find to find any duplicates. Hope that helped. For more information, visit me at quickencoach.com.
Thank you.